maybe you can relate to some of those statements that you've just seen. I wanted to encourage you in this video, I'm gonna share a letter that I actually wrote to myself in 2018. Dear Single Isle, I know your heart cries right now. Your heart cries because you can't quite comprehend that despite knowing you have close friends, family, church members, and most importantly, a God who loves you, you still have times, moments, days where you feel incredibly lonely. You can't quite comprehend how you've managed to gain so much confidence over the years, which is phenomenal, yet still second guess and doubt God's ability to pair you up with a man who's meant for you according to his will and his timing and not yours. I know all of this is hard for you. I know you've been so used to feeling like you need to fend for yourself to be super independent and take care of others. But I want you to know that God's got you. You know intellectually and theoretically that he's got you, but it needs to be embedded on your heart. I know you've been searching for love most of your life, but it's never quite filled that void in your heart, has it? I know now that you're single, you are struggling to figure out who Ayo is on a deeper level. I know that you feel idle sometimes. I know that you struggle to come up with things to do in the evenings now. I get it. It's completely normal for you to feel lost too, because it's all you've ever known for so many years of your life. I mean, after all, we are human and we're used to certain habits. Without them, we can feel alienated. Don't beat yourself up for what you're feeling, girl. You are beautiful, you are a gem, you're unique. You are a light on earth. And one day, before you know it, you will realize that this season of singleness that you're in was nothing short of a blessing. Pray to God to support you. Ask him for guidance. Ask him to show up for you. Ask him for the strength to shy away from idolizing marriage because he's listening, Ayo. He sees your every struggle and he loves you so much. You are in an amazing season. If God has brought you this far, what on earth makes you think that he'll leave you now? It's hard, baby girl, but trust me, I'm writing to you from a place of wisdom. Make the most of your single season. You will never get it back. Seek God like never before. Stay plugged to your godly community. Travel more, dance more, laugh more, and find you more. You are joy. I love you so much. Your future self, Ayo. So that was a letter I wrote to myself on the 19th of September, 2018. And when I wrote that, that letter to myself, from my future self. I was in a place of heartache and pain and it was not easy. But I'm sharing this letter with you almost two years later from a healthier place and from contentment in God, you know? So whilst I still acknowledge my desire for a husband, I have a lot more faith in God's timing and I now know better and I now know that all will be well. So I really just wanted to encourage you with this video. The truth is that spending time with God and getting to know who you are in Christ will make you want to take better care of yourself. And over time, that's how to overcome a low self-esteem. That is the real way to build self-confidence and self-worth by recognizing your value in Christ. So, my sister, I just want to encourage you, never believe the lie that you are not valuable. God demonstrated his love for both you and I by sending Jesus, his son, to die for you so that you could be together with God for eternity. That's how valuable we are. So, <laughs> this video was just to share something very real with you, something short and sweet, and I pray that you are blessed by this video. For much more practical tips that will empower you as a young woman or a teen girl to live your best life in Christ <laughs> and um, 
engaging lifestyle content then please do subscribe to this channel because we have videos for you every single Tuesday do hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever we post a video here on this channel and we would love to hear from you share your biggest takeaway share your biggest reflection point and um yeah look forward to engaging with you in the comments section as well and also for much more even more encouragement your way then i want to invite you to join the io i will turn on newsletter because um you will receive on wednesdays bite-sized encouraging and edifying messages um yeah i said on wednesday already yeah so <laughs> i invite you to sign up for that and yes <laughs> there we have it adios y hasta luego Actually, I'm not done yet. One thing I forgot to say. <laughs> if you would like to take your journey, your relationship with God a step further, then A Young Woman's Guide to Seeking God is definitely the book for you. It is a short and sweet guide. It is a three-step game plan, assisting you, enabling you, empowering you to get on that journey or continue on that journey for seeking God first and building a personal relationship with him. So the link is down below. Okay, now that's really it. Okay, cool. Take care. Bye. <laughs>